Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another recording of Occupy Mars with Red One Up. Uh, so today we are starting the day by going after these two random missions that I had pop up. Uh, both of them are like 2,400 meters from base, roughly. So, yeah, I guess I will uh, see you ladies and gents when I make it there. Well, ladies and gents, this is new. Um, so I was on my way to that point right there, um, about 220 meters away. Came across this little uh, antenna right here. Stopped, grabbed the uh, circuit board boxes, figuring I could put a circuit board in here. But now we have this, start hacking. So guess three unique symbols. Each symbol must be different. The sequence of the symbols is not important. Interesting. Correct code provided, antenna will be unlocked. Collect a pin drive. Interesting. So, did I get the pin drive? Sure did. Can I continue hacking? Nope. Okay, well, thought that was interesting. Figured I'd just share that with you ladies and gents. Haven't stumbled across that. I do apologize for my voice and sounding all nasally and congested. It would be because I am recovering from a pretty nasty bug. That's what happens when you have toddlers. So, I was actually, you know what? It's right here, so let's just check it out. Which one is this? Is this the care package or is this the meteorite? Um, well, this seems to be a whole lot of nothing. So which one was this? Oops. Wrong button. Let's go ahead and throw that back in transport mode. Exit out of this. Open up our map, our messages, I mean. Assuming it's this one. Yep, I guess so. So the meteorite should still be there, which is great because I brought the tipper with me. That is a very deep hole. Willing to bet there's uranium or something. No, nah, probably not. It doesn't look like there's anything. But I do see another antenna over there off in the distance that might be of some interest. Um, maybe we could put a circuit board in there and get that thing operational. I don't know if you have to power those or not, though. So I guess we will see momentarily. Well, ladies and gents, it is another hackathon. So let's see which codes are different. Biometrics. Key locks. SIM card. Server cloud. Uh, let's go with microchip. This one. I think I've done all of the other ones. I have. So let's see what I haven't done. This one. 
This one. This one. Oh, interesting. Antenna is now unlocked. And we'll get a pin drive. Very nice. All right, cool. All right, so it looks like we got a rough road ahead of us, briefly. There are some bases over here that might be worth... Uh-oh. I don't know if this is going to be safe. Ugh. You know what's weird is the ground doesn't seem to be rendering properly over here. So that's cool. We found a new way to get pen drives. Did you see that base right there? Straight ahead of us, two bases. I'm pretty sure I've been here actually. Yes, I have. That giant mountain we drove the rover up is right there, actually. There's a base off over in the distance over there. All right, ladies and gents, see you momentarily. All right, and here we go. Looks like we're coming up on a uranium uh, meteorite. So this time, brought the tipper as uh, Norwegian Gatman had previously mentioned doing, utilizing it to drill away. See if we could get to it. Now, I know that we can't just pick it up, so let's go ahead and throw that drill head on there. Actually, I don't really care for this camera view, so I'm going to do crane camera. All right, that looks good right there. Everything's broken up. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and put that grabber on there, collect all those big chunks, and get many more times what we would by grabbing the smaller chunks. Oh no, I guess the question would be, am I going to be able to reach it all? Let's try to get the furthest piece. Nope. Maybe. Yep. Okay. Come on now. Evidently can't pick that up. Alrighty then. That is interesting. Why can't I pick that up? Hmm. Let's try drilling it down, see if something else comes out. Oh, that would be why. Okay. Rookie move on uh, my part. really need to eat and drink something.
There we go. Looks like we got everything. There's probably little pieces of iron out there like last time, but who knows. Let's go ahead and throw this in transport mode. And we're going to hop out and eat and drink something. Very nice. And I think I will see you ladies and gents back at base unless I come across something super interesting. And what do we have here? See all those gold pieces in there? That's actually iron. Which is pretty interesting that it's gold, but hey. What do I know? Why does it like automatically come out and just... Need to pull up a little bit. And I think everything else is broke apart, it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this and then be on my way. So see you ladies and gents back at base. All right, ladies and gents, home sweet home. Let's go ahead and unload this puppy and see what we got. 258 uranium plus the four I had to go out and manually grab. That's uh, it's very impressive. So we're gonna take that with us, go make some more uranium rods. Maybe generate more kilo power. I am going to take this silicone with us. Um, I'm going to take that because I am running out of silicone in the large greenhouse. And I will show you, ladies and gents, why. Wouldn't let me sit down for some reason. So base is still kind of pretty much how it was left. Actually, I don't think I changed anything, but I got rid of that workshop. So we're going to swing around in here. Go park real quick. If I don't run into that. Very nice. I'm a licensed operator on this planet. Probably the only one. All right, there we go. So if you saw when we were driving by, I have put a ton of trees in there, which somebody might be upset about. But I also have a epic ton of bell peppers. That pressure is going to take forever. So I have a new CO2 scrubber. Let's go ahead and start doing the things and the stuff. I I think I have an oxygen bottle to fill actually while we're doing that. There it is. Very nice. Not nearly enough pressure, Jesus. Okay. It's probably because I don't have an airlock right here. That's almost guaranteed why. But I need to eat something anyway, so. Alright, now let's run up here. Oh, yeah. Look at all these bell peppers. There are 24 bell peppers over here. Now you might be curious what kind of resource that requires. Well, 
quite a lot 225 soil now the spruce tree area is not completely full the apple tree area also not completely full and there's nothing over here yet but uh i have room for one two probably six more uh spruce trees and a ton more apples so let's go throw this uh silicone in here real quick nice 401 so i would say 250 for each quarter of that um of that large dome is probably reasonable looking good on the peppers spruce trees ready to be replanted i also have some oxygen trees over here um same rules apply out there in the dome that apply in here if I could, I would put that spruce tree in there, but you can't do that. You can't mix uh, various types of vegetation, which kind of sucks because the whole back area where the apple trees are, I could put like peppers or something. But it kind of makes sense too, because trees would naturally block, block the sunlight that these need to thrive. 91% growth which is phenomenal. Some of these might be at like 92, maybe 93. Who knows? So yeah, that's status update. Uh, I did finally... Oh my God. Oh my God. So two storage lockers in here. Battery uh, bank right there. And then all the science benches are in the main HQ over there, along with all my repair tools. And I double airlocked everything as a safety precaution. So we have tons of points right now. The only thing we are lacking on is mechanics. We need 16 mechanics points to unlock everything, which is going to require a ton of off camera grinding. Here's our view from HQ. I purposely put it this way just so I could see all the meteorites hit my solar panels. And you know what? Since this update, the only weather events I have been getting are sandstorms. I haven't got anything else. No meteorites, no lightning storms, no solar storms, nothing. So I'm assuming it's just because of the update. Maybe that's what they wanted uh, people to focus on more this time around. Maybe it's a bug. I don't know. But yeah, I'm pretty proud that we have made it to this stage so far. Again, it's going to take a lot of off-camera grinding to get all 16 of those mechanics points. Because they just... They take forever. I'm at 110 right now. The only thing I could do is go out there and just like jackhammer everything. Need to do extinguisher, followed by detonator, followed by meteor defense. Those are our priorities, those three. Everything else is kind of cool to have, but not necessary. Automatic rock lifting, that might be nice. Heavy suit for radiation, that might be nice as well. But not a necessity. So on that note, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Another short episode, primarily because I'm sick. Also, because we have another incoming sandstorm. And that's probably going to take me 24 hours of my life to clean every item off. And that kind of sucks. Um, it is what it is. It's the game. I love it so far. I can't wait for this game to go full launch. Um... Aside from that note, I think next uh, episode I'm probably going to cover the recent Planet Crafter updates. I haven't been back to Planet Crafter in a very long time. Maybe I'll start over. I don't know. I haven't decided. Um, yeah, 
but thanks to all the viewers, the subscribers, those likes and comments. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, this is Red One Up, signing off.